Good morning, Gemini. This reading is for you. My name is Renee. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you for your support. I appreciate you. This is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. Okay, what do we have for Gemini? December 15th through the 31st. Destiny. Okay, Gemini. And renewal. So yeah, I'm feeling like you're tapping into something here. I feel like you're working on yourself, Gemini. What is it that you're doing? You have waking the lion. So yeah, you have strength. You have it is what it is. So yeah, I feel like something that you're going through, doesn't, um, Gemini, you're like, whatever. I've like had enough of it. But I feel like you're pulling in your strength. You're waning in on your strength. You're provoking the lion. You have a cleansing bath and spirits. Cleansing body and spirit. So I feel like you're you're definitely working on yourself. You have tears of joy and sadness. What are we doing, Gemini? Let's get a message from spirits. Let's get a spirit animal card. Let's see what's going on with Gemini. What's going on with Gemini, please? For December 15th through the 31st, we have the Black Bear Guardian. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Yeah, I feel like you have protection. You also have the sea otter, which is happiness. Be the master of playful living. Release expectations and enjoy every day. Let worry go and instead choose love. Surrender to the waves. Your good destiny of love is sure. Another word of destiny. Okay. Interesting. And let's get an angel card. Let's get an angel card, please. What do the angels want to say to Gemini for December 15th through the 31st? What do the angels want to say to Gemini? We have Archangel Raphael. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Yeah, so I feel like whatever challenges that you're going through, I feel like you're helping others come through their challenges. You also have Chantel. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. Yeah, so you may have a new love that's coming through too, uh, Gemini. Very interesting. I feel like you are doing important things. I'm going to move these cards over some. So let me know if they block your view. Okay. Let's get some tarot for Gemini for December 15th through the 31st. What does spirit want to tell Gemini that they may not be aware of? Messages for Gemini, December 31st. See, we have two cards coming through. Okay, so the Seven of, seven of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. Okay. 
We have the Two of Swords, Choices. And we have the Temperance, Healing, Healing Power. What else do we have for Gemini, please? For December 15th through the 31st, we have the Ten of Swords. So you're ending something. We have the Two of Cups as your overall energy. All right, so it is new love that's coming through. New love is coming. We have the Chariots. Ooh. I almost lost them. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Magician. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Empress. One more card, please. One more card for Gemini. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, and the energy on the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. So I feel like some kind of information is coming to you. You're going to receive some kind of information about what it is that's challenging you, Gemini. And I feel like that information is going to help you through your, your, your situation. Okay, so we have... The Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like I feel like you're finding yourself defending yourself. You're ready to walk away from a situation because you feel very defensive. You fear you feel very negative energy. And it may be from a person that you're dealing with. It may just be your environment. But I feel like you are trying to stand strong. You're trying to hold it all together, but I feel like you you need to wake the lion. I feel like you really need strength in this in this situation because there are choices that you need to make. There are choices you need to make. There is a different road you need to travel in order to gain your healing, in order to gain your balance back. And I feel like that choice, the choice that you need to make, I really feel is a very hard one. I feel like it's something that you may not want to consider, but I feel like the situation may need to come to an end. Something is over in your situation. If this isn't love that's over, uh, this is something that you're done dealing with. This is maybe a person that you're tired of dealing with. This is a person that you really want to cut off. A person that you no longer want in your energy. You just want to cleanse yourself of this person. Of this energy that they're bringing to you. And only by doing that will you receive this connection. This Two of Cups connection here. I feel like new love is coming in. And I feel like it's moving you in a direction to feel more abundant, to feel more happy, to feel more um, delighted in your situation. But I feel like it's going to be a road. I feel like you're going to be venturing on the road less traveled, is what I want to say. Very interesting energy, Gemini. <clears throat> Now, I feel like once you once you find out what you need to let go of, once you need to end, I feel like you're going to feel more abundant. You're going to feel more happy in your situation. Something's coming through. So you have 10 and 10. And actually, we're going from a 7 to a 9, 10, 10. So I feel like you're progressing in the right direction. You, you see this that's going on in this situation. You're making an ending. And you're becoming more happy in your situation. So you see that this right here doesn't benefit you at all. It doesn't benefit you. It's not even for your greatest good. Um, so I, I think that you finally come to that realization. And that puts you in, in a better place. That makes you more abundant. That makes you um, 
more free to expand to other options. This also may be an increase in your income. It may be a it may be money coming in that you weren't aware was coming. Um, it may be a wonderful surprise. But you also have the two of wands. Excuse me, the three of wands in your situation. So I feel like you're, I feel like this situation here, this bottom along to the rest of this row, I feel like you're in better spirits. I feel like you're able to look towards the future. You're able to really make plans that you weren't able to make earlier. I feel like these choices that you had to make that were so hard for you to make has brought you into healing. It's brought you into this space. And I feel like you are... You're moving in the right direction for your destiny. Yeah, and we have that right there. Yeah, your destiny. And I feel like what you're creating is going to be... What you're creating is going to be mind-blowing, Gemini. You have the magician. So I feel like you are creating something that is very focused, inspirational. I feel like you're taking inspired action on some kind of event, some kind of situation. And I definitely feel like with this guardian up here, I feel like you're being protected as you go about it. It says, gentle, wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. So yeah, I feel like you are coming into your power, Gemini. Now, I feel like with this card, I feel like exactly what that's saying i feel like your family is being protected you are being protected i feel like the spirits your angels your loved ones who are no longer with us are providing you with support and protection they're guarding you they're making sure that no harm comes to you that all is well and you also have the empress so this is another card of manifestation. The Empress and the Magician. These are the two best cards to manifest what it is you want in your life. The two best. See, he has all the tools he needs to manifest something, to bring something down to earth, to create what it is that he has a vision of. And she is very fruitful. She is very fertile for ideas, for thoughts. Um, she's very fertile to manifest whatever it is she wants. So I feel like something that you've been wanting, something that you've been manifesting is finally coming into power because you're ending this reading with the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like something new is coming through that is going to bring you more abundance, more uh, financial help, more vitality. It's going to give you that spark, that something that you need. This may be a new job offer. This may be, this may be your love interest coming in who is very prosperous. They may be very abundant. They may have a company. They may be a boss. So I feel like something's coming in that's going to make you very abundant at this time. Now, I don't know why I have this deck in my hand because this isn't the deck that I really want to use. But Spirit is telling me to use it. So we're using it. What is this Two of Cups energy, Spirit? What is this Two of Cups? You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Okay, so I think that this is... 
This may be someone from your job, but this Queen of Pentacles, it may be a Capricorn. It may be a Taurus or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. You do have other signs here on the table. Um, but I feel like this is someone that you're able to build your life with. This is someone who you can see in your future. It's very interesting. Okay, and we have the strength card on the bottom again. So you definitely have strength through your situation. Very interesting, Gemini. Now, let's take some cards to... What, what is the outcome for Gemini? Now, these cards wanted to pop up before I even answer, ask the question. So I feel like they're very important. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the King of Cups. So I feel like this may be someone that you work with. This may be someone that you're collaborating with. But I feel like love is coming in. And it may be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But it doesn't have to be. But I feel like they are, they're very loving. They're very practical. And it's so funny that on these three cards right next to each other, I see a ship. And I see water. So something may have to do with ships and water. You may be sailing or you may be going on a trip. You may be going on a cruise and meet this person. But I feel like the ships and the water are very important because they're all right next to each other. They're all very relevant. Very interesting. What else do we have for Gemini? <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. The Ten of Cups. This person is going to make you very happy. You have three tens now. The Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups. You are ending all of your fears. Uh, you're ending something that wasn't good for you. You're moving into your Ten of Pentacles. You're having wealth, abundance, good health. And you're, you've also had your happiness, your family, your destiny. Yes, so you are walking into your destiny, Gemini. Definitely. And that's how I'm feeling with this Eight of Cups. I feel like you're walking into your destiny. You're leaving the Eight of Cups situation and you're walking into your Nine of Cups. You're walking into the sunset. You've overcome your obstacles. Definitely. You also have the star. So you are the star. You are a spotlight at the moment. This person sees you as a spotlight. They see you as a star. They see you as someone who has great insight, who's hopeful, who's able to create miracles. They, they see you as someone very faithful. And you also have the Ace of Pentacles again at the bottom. So yes, this is definitely a very new, prosperous beginning. We see that the roots are growing. You planted the seed. Now the roots are growing and they're going to grow into something that is very happy and joyful. Okay, Gemini. I see everything that you're doing. Okay, let's get some manifestation cards. Let's see exactly what Gemini is manifesting at this time. What does Gemini need to know? December 15th through the 30th. What does Gemini need to know? Unleash your kindest self. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Yeah, so be kind. Be kind to people as well as to yourself. Don't forget yourself in this situation, Gemini. Be kind to yourself. We have full moon in Gemini. Thanks for showing up. Embrace the flow of life. 
Yeah, and we have the two there. You have first quarter moon in Virgo. Assess the situation. Be mindful. Be aware. Open your awareness to your situations. And we have shine. Just shine. Another sun moment. This is your sign. Just shine, Gemini. Exactly. At the bottom, what you don't see, what you may not expect, new moon in Aries, go for it. Okay, beautiful energy. Let's get some moonology cards. See what we have for Gemini for December 15th through the 31st. What do we have for Gemini for December 15th through the 31st? The energy is gaining momentum. Yes, yeah, so I feel like your, your positive energy is flowing. Um, I feel like you're building onto the momentum. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Definitely. When you feel like you need more strength, meditate on your situation. Talk to your angels. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon and Capricorn. Thank you, spirit. And what do you need to release? Yeah, that's what this um, Seven of Swords energy and this Ten of Swords. What do you? What is it that you need to release from your life, Gemini? What is it that you need to release? Okay, let's take a look. See what messages the universe has for Gemini. See what the messages have for Gemini. What messages for Gemini, please? See. <clears throat> In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Yeah, so yeah, the, the universe wants you to be positive. The universe works when you bring out your positivity. You flow with your positive vibes. See, if you put out positive energy, then positive energy will be returned to you by the universe. We put out negative energy and negative things seem to happen. So put out that positive energy. Let your light shine, Gemini. Shine. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Exactly. Beautiful energy. And let's see. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. Yeah, I feel like you have a lot of support at this, at this time. I choose love no matter what. Yeah, and I feel like love is really coming towards you. Love is coming through to you. Um, and I feel like it's going to be your destiny. I feel like you are walking in to your destined situation. You're walking into your destiny, Gemini. What does Gemini need to do in order to overcome any challenges or obstacles that they face this month. What does Gemini need to do? What does Gemini need to work on? Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Yeah, release the negativity. That's something that needs to be released. Anytime that you feel negative energy, take a moment to meditate, focus, and release that energy back where it came from. Return it to the sender. Judgment. 
I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, sometimes we're so focused on ourselves we don't see the needs of others. But I feel like you're you don't have that problem, Gemini, because I feel like Gemini feels the world. I feel like you feel all the pain others are going through. And I feel like you, you want to help people get through their pain. It may be that you're an advisor or a counselor. Um, you may be just someone who people get good advice from. But I feel like you really have um, a very empathetic heart. Empathy. I, I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Definitely. I really think that you do, Gemini. Because you have those dual signs. You're the sign of the twin. So I feel like you're able to see both sides. You're able to pull out both sides of a situation too. Patience. I accept everything happens in divine order. Definitely. Okay, and at the bottom you have friendship. I understand that a friend is in your life for a reason. Yeah, it could be that someone is there to be your helpmate. Someone is being supportive to you. Um, you may have a really good friend that's on your side. Someone who's able to be there when you need a shoulder to cry on. And someone who's able to be there when you need someone to be joyful. When you need someone to, you know, take the victory lap with you. And I feel like that's very important that we have those people around us. Okay, Gemini, this is your reading for December 15th through the 31st. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. It may have more answers to your questions and one of your other placements. So, Gemini... Have a beautiful month. Many blessings and love and light.